Good evening, folks. Just when I figured I'd get to take a break from the magnetic pole shift news, NOAA just steps on their own face. The annual report on ozone-related data is out and they are thumping their chests, saying that ozone-depleting chemicals are down in a big way. The implication is that the ozone is recovering and that it will fully recover eventually. But there's a huge problem. The entire report is about the chemicals they think destroy the ozone and not about how the ozone is actually doing. When we look there, at the actual reality, we get a very different story. Just two days ago, we saw the data showing that once again the Antarctic ozone hole is at record extent, just like it was the last two years. This is antithetical to the paradigm they are pushing, that it's in recovery as the ozone-depleting gases are on the decline, better than they've been in decades. Then, of course, we have the tropical ozone hole, more recently discovered but equally, if not more meaningful. The processes that drive the ozone loss are supposed to be unique at the polar region, with certain stratospheric conditions driving those losses. But that's not the case at all, and the tropical ozone hole is seven times bigger than the Antarctic ozone hole. It has also been cycling down progressively worse, again, even as the supposed cause of the ozone loss is decreased in the atmosphere. And there's an easy explanation for this, cosmic rays. The breakout cascades of cosmic rays includes protons and electrons, and those are one of the key destroyers of ozone. This is at the stage where legitimate concern for atmosphere and life on the ground comes into play. The continued polar ozone loss records and the increasingly lost ozone at the tropics is not due to those gases. It's due to increased cosmic ray bombardment, which also cycles with sunspot activity, but which still trends worse over the long run. With Earth's constantly weakening magnetic field and the ongoing magnetic pole shift and geomagnetic excursion, there is no question that we should be seeing more ozone loss and not just at the polar region. That's what we have. And this is where we have to remember the studies on ozone loss due to cosmic particles and how it rapidly shifts the climate, specific studies on geomagnetic field loss and how it destroys ozone in a similar way, leading to similar biosphere stress, not to mention extinctions of species, and how all of this is just a big bit of bad news for the biosphere, the life on Earth. You will never hear the mainstream stray from their paradigm. It would cause panic and they're too deep in it now. But they also know that major events coming mean they don't have to admit anything. They can just wait it out. Same with their reckless spending and sending the populace into tailspins of distraction. Knowing why this is really happening doesn't exactly put us in a better position, except for the bigger picture concept of what is to come, where that picture presents an opportunity for those who see to better prepare for what's coming, the next age of Earth.